Hi, everybody. How are you doing? So my name is Heather Rodriguez. I'm a natural fertility specialist. My team and I help couples who are trying to get pregnant and who are preparing for pregnancy and trying to boost their fertility. So we use all natural methods and we work with couples who are going all natural, couples who are preparing for fertility treatments. Whatever your route is, we're here to help you. Let's go ahead and get started with today's class. It's gonna be all about egg health. And this pertains to anybody who is trying to get pregnant. Hey Bailey, nice to see you. And so the reason that egg health is so important is that is the basis and the beginning of your child. That is everything, well, half of everything that your child's going to be. So you want to make sure that your egg health is as healthy as possible. So importance of egg health is this is going to be the most important aspect of your child. And we want to make sure that your eggs are very healthy. So there's a lot of different aspects to improving egg health. There's circulation, there's herbs you can use, diet. Um, there's things to avoid, but we're going to focus on one thing today because it's a big topic. And this is the one thing that you can all get started on right away and all get focused on. So we're going to focus on antioxidants <coughs> and antioxidant nutrients for egg health. So you might be thinking, oh, I came here because I have PCOS or I came here because I've had miscarriages. Hey, Sarah from Nevada. Um, thanks so much for, for joining. But egg health is something that you need to be thinking about and focusing on because you can have an impact on your egg health. So we'll start with how we can have an impact on your egg health. How many of you have heard that there's nothing you can do to impact the health of your eggs? You're born with your eggs, the way they are is the way they are, and then you just have to deal with that. That's kind of been the ongoing thought process on egg health and what you can do for your eggs. But you can actually have an impact on your eggs. Yeah, you guys have all heard that. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. I didn't know there was an emoji con that has an arm raised. That's adorable. Um, so yeah, we've all heard that. There's nothing you can do. But there is. There's actually a lot you can do. There's a window. There's a period of time that when you're, you have your eggs that you are born with, and there's a period of time when that egg is going into a cycle that's preparing to be the chosen egg for ovulation, that it is exposed to your system. It's exposed to what's in your body. Hey from Nigeria, oh my gosh, thanks for, for joining us. Um, and so during that period of time, you can have an impact. So there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of things you wanna make sure that you're doing, and one of them is gonna be antioxidants. So the reason we focus so much on antioxidants is there's something in the body called free radicals. And there, we get bombarded by these daily. About 10,000 times we're getting hit by antioxidants. So it's normal, you don't need to freak out about it, but this can impact the health of our cells. And your eggs are the largest cells in your body. So you want to protect those cells. And the same goes for sperm health and for sperm cells. It's all the same thing. I just know that almost everybody on here is a woman. So I'm gonna to speak to egg health, but it all pertains to sperm, to sperm health as well. Oh, great, I'm so glad that you, that you enjoyed the cleanse. Um, okay, so back to antioxidants. I get, I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, comments, ooh, hard. Um, back to antioxidants. So, Focusing on protecting from free radicals. So they can damage the DNA of, of your egg and your ovum cells, and they can also damage a lot of the processes of a cell. So we want to protect them with antioxidants. What an antioxidant does is, I'll do a little hand puppet graph here. Here is a free radical, and it can affect and is attacking. It's a mutated cell that is attacking and doing something to your healthy cell. So free radical or an antioxidant comes along and actually envelops and, and, and deactivates that free radical. But say this is a vitamin C, that's one of the antioxidants we're gonna talk about. That comes in, it, it actually covers and deactivates that free radical. But then that vitamin C also is spent. So we're gonna talk about something that's called, that's called working in a network of antioxidants. So when that vitamin C is spent, then you no longer have that, that powerful vitamin E or vitamin C. But if you're taking the group of antioxidants that I'm about to list, that reactivates that vitamin C. So not only is the vitamin C you're taking today active in your system, the vitamin C you take tomorrow is active in your system. I know it's a pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty, it sounds pretty complex, but it's pretty amazing if you're taking antioxidants daily and consuming antioxidants daily, you're keeping these continuously in your system and they need to stay in your system to constantly fight the free radicals. So that's kind of like a basis overview for radicals and antioxidants, but we want to protect the um, cell integrity and protect the DNA for your eggs. At what age are your eggs the healthiest and prime and why do they tend to disappear? So the healthiest and prime would probably be around when you hit puberty. You know, 15 years old, we're designed to 
start procreating and get pregnant at that age. Of course, in our modern day and age, this is not possible. It's not part of our culture because we live for so long. So they start to decline because of our exposure to, to the environment and from our lack of nutrients or our, um, our chemicals that we're exposed to, the hormones that we're exposed to, the lack of hormones, just life. Uh, just like with any other cell of the body, all cells are being affected by time, by age, by things that we're exposed to. So that's you know, that's just a fact of life. But antioxidants are something that you can do very easily, super easily, that can have a great effect. So some of the antioxidants that are specific for fertility. There's a lot of antioxidants out there. They're not all the same. They do different things. So um, vitamin C and vitamin E, you hear, oh, they're antioxidants, but they're just in a group together because they help to protect eggs or, or cells, because your eggs are cells, but they do different things. So it's not like you can just use vitamin C and you're all set. So here are specific antioxidants for fertility. Um, lipoic acid, vitamin E, vitamin C, ubiquinol, which is sometimes known as CoQ10. I bet you, a lot of you guys have heard of CoQ10. Have you guys heard of CoQ10? Um, and glutathione. So these ones are specific for fertility. There are a lot of different types of antioxidants. Um, pycnogenol is another one, but that's more for specific for endometriosis. But we've got lipoic acid, vitamin E, vitamin C, ubiquinol, and glutathione. These work best taken in a group because they're, again, going to resuscitate each other as they are taking care of the radicals. It can resuscitate it, and then you have even more antioxidants working in your favor. So you can find this information for those of you who are like, oh, my gosh, this is so much information, or I'm someplace I can't take notes. You can find this on my website at naturalfertilityinfo.com and type in antioxidants into the search and you'll get my whole guide to antioxidants in-depth information so that you don't have to take notes right now because it's you know it's a lot but so the whole point of taking these in a group is that they're going to help to keep an ample amount of antioxidants in your system and I take I I created an antioxidant blend that has all of these together to make it really easy but there's a lot of different ways you can get antioxidants in your system and I will share that with you um, so the key to protecting egg health, one of them is antioxidants. And how you get antioxidants into your life is one, you're going to eat a nutrient dense diet that's rich in antioxidants. And a diet that is rich in antioxidants is a colorful diet. Super, super simple. Just make sure that there's lots of colors in what you're eating peppers, greens, colorful fruit, blueberries. The richer the color, the stronger in antioxidants. And get a wide variety because the different colors means different antioxidants are in, in those compounds. So that's going to be kind of step number one. The second is to supplement. The amounts that you're going to need are higher because you have a specific purpose that you're trying to attain. So I would suggest Fertilica um, Antioxidant Blend. That's my favorite. That's the only, I had to formulate an antioxidant blend because no one is putting these together for fertility. You'll see ones that are specific for anti-aging. You'll see ones that are specific for immune system, for various things, but no one's focused on fertility like we are. That is completely our passion. Um, another way to help increase antioxidants in your system is to actually avoid certain things, to avoid things that cause free radicals to increase in your system. Um, reduce exposure to chemicals. It's kind of a given. Um, stop smoking. Smoking is one of the biggest things that causes free radicals in the system. It's unbelievable the amount of free radicals that are caused from smoking or inhaling secondhand smoke. So during this time, while you're trying to conceive, do what you can to stop smoking. You're going to need to for pregnancy because that's going to happen. It's coming. So might as well get started now if you are a smoker or get the person in your life who smokes to do it away from you. Um, should you avoid in the kitchen like plastics? Yes, plastics, is, it's a whole thing. If you guys have followed any of the work that we're doing, staying away from plastics is definitely something I would suggest, especially heating them or the cheap, flimsy plastic. Plastics everywhere, I know, but there's certain things to avoid with plastic for sure. Um, and then the last one was stress. Stress is going to definitely affect your free radicals and the amounts of free radicals in your system. So find something that's going to work for you to reduce your stress. I'm going to cover that on these scopes. We have tons of stuff in line for reducing stress, tons of stuff in line to help educate you on diet, how to get these antioxidants in. Fertility smoothies are a fantastic way to get antioxidants in your diet through fruits and vegetables every single day. So that's something to think about. Um, one last note on ubiquinol. So ubiquinol is CoQ10. You guys have heard of that. 
There's an amazing study out that shows, especially for women over 30, when they use ubiquinol, in, or ubiquinol, actually it was CoQ10, in conjunction with IVF, the rates of success were much higher. So that's something to consider. But ubiquinol is eight times as potent as CoQ10. So I like to focus and use ubiquinol. So that's something you would take in addition to um, to fertility choice and antioxidants because the amount that you need is a higher amount. We do have some um, that's in there, but you want to you want to have a good amount, so a higher amount. So you need to take that on its own as well, which we do carry at naturalfertilityshop.com. Um, so that's my quick scope on antioxidants. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Do something wonderful for yourself today. Okay. All right.